Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Richie Tavin back in. Look, man, if you came across this video, it's because you're trying to get a bigger chest. So I'm going to take you out through my full chest day workout. As you can see, um, I just recorded the top, the kind of working sets. I started off with 225. Um, I didn't want to really want to burn myself out. So we started like maybe six, six to eight reps, kind of just to, just to get our muscle fibers working. This is not really a workout that I recommend you have to do. Barbell bench is a really ego type of lift. But the first question people really ask you when you, you know, tell them you work out is what's your bench. So this is just a good um, kind of workout to kind of maintain your strength and kind of see where you at still. Um, I went up to 275 right here. I got, I think, two, I think 265 maybe. Two, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, so I just did a five. Uh, my boy right here, he a beast, man. I can't keep up with him, man. So Shout out to him. If you if you don't have a workout partner, I recommend you get a workout partner who's stronger than you because this always keep pushing pushes you to um you know keep striving, keep working. Right now he got like what three thirty five on the bar, hitting it for five fucking reps. Like you know that that's just just that's just just human and inhumane, bro. So no matter how strong I feel, I always feel like I got something to you know a bar to reach. Uh, right here, this will be my last finishing set. I went to two seventy five, and also I had an injury in the past. So I'm just gonna throw that out there for y'all. I had an injury in the past, but um now i finished that at 275 so right here this is where we get our bread and butter right here this is um we we'll do like maybe a whole fucking hour just dumbbell work so i we, we cut out all the warm-ups and we went straight to like 100 because we already wanted to the, on the bench so right there i'm keeping it short and sweet we at like um i think like six six to eight reps maybe just to keep it light you know so if you're a beginner you know i, I suggest you start off on the dumbbells bro because this is really where you get a good range of motion um less injuries happen here on the dumbbells as well allow you control the weight get a really good feel for the weight you know you you hold him you know essentially 100 something pounds in each arm bro it takes some type some type of fucking strength to do that shit um he he jumped 20 pounds like i said this dude's a fucking freak he went up to 120 um, I think for my next set, I went to 105, still keeping it short and sweet to 105. But, you know, I'm going to let y'all watch the video. I ain't going to try and do too much talking, you know, as you can see. See now he's getting into um, his real his real heavy um, top set, so he's at 140 right now. If y'all say I'm a bad spotter, it's because he doesn't want a spot. I don't know if that's some shit he does in his head. He don't want a spot, so I say fuck it. I just stay at at arm's length, just in case some shit go wrong, I can hop in there. But right here, I went to um, I went to one tens. Uh, they, they felt pretty good to me. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't really been going too heavy on these, but I'm starting to really work my way up. I'm trying to work myself up to, you know, the range my friend is at. I, I think I went to 120 today. Usually when we're doing... Um, dumbbells we're shooting for 10 reps but since we going so heavy really focus we uh we minimize it to about five to six six to eight really till failure really when you're working out till failure Right here, we go into the incline um, close close grip um, press. So if you really want to build that center of your chest, this is a good workout to do. Really uh, squeezing, squeezing at the top, squeezing at the top, man. That's how you get that separation. A lot of guys neglect, you know, they just want to hit the bench. Nah, you got you got different areas of your chest you got to hit. You got to hit the up, the under peg. Uh, the top of the chest is incline right here. This is like a, a top of the chest and to build that separation.
All right, so these are like my favorite workouts. I love hitting the cables. So as you can see, I'm kind of I'm kind of standing kind of close to the cables, and I'm not I'm not pushing my arms out right now. I'm just going straight down. Right now, this is focusing on building that under pick. Right now, it's talking to my nigga, man. Like I said in my videos, when you in that gym, they choosing. Trust me, they are choosing body game, body game. Body gotta be on point, fellas. If you watching this video and you and you to this point, it's cause you working on your body game. Look, you come on, man. But yeah, like I'm telling him, I'm, I'm about to superset. So I'm going to the bottom under peg. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take just a step forward right there. Full chest. Mm. Feeling that squeeze. You're gonna feel that burn. I kind of cut the clips out because just to save on time. But yeah. Um, bottom. And then step forward, you're going to feel that whole chest burning. And if you're really squeezing, doing a way you can handle, doing a way you control. And we was kind of running short on time and shit. We had already done so much. We burnt ourselves out. Um, I just wanted to really touch the triceps. I didn't really hit them as hard. But if y'all like, if y'all fought with this video... Uh, leave a comment. I'll do a whole arm day, a, a full arm day. I don't. I've never done like a full arm day video. But if y'all fucking with this format or the shit I'm doing, and y'all like kind of watching the whole workout progress, I'll do a full arm day for y'all and go over what I'm doing as well. So that's the video for today. I appreciate you, y'all, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.